Okay, so I wanted to talk about DMR Tier 1 versus Tier 2 today, because there's been a lot of confusion about this topic recently. So let's have a look at what Tier 1 actually is. It's designed for use in the PMR446 band, which is the European license free band, basically the European version of FRS. It's got a limited power output of half a watt, and it's band limited to 446 MHz only, so it means a Tier 1 DMR radio cannot work outside of the 446 MHz band. And also it's simplex only, so there's no repeaters in Tier 1. So what's Tier 2 then? Tier 2 is what most people think of as normal DMR, and it's used by almost all, if not all, of the amateur DMR networks. I don't know any that are not Tier 2. It's not band limited and it's not power limited, so you can use it on any frequency that is usually used for PMR or LMR services. And it has repeaters, which is the biggest difference between Tier 1 and Tier 2. So Tier 1 and Tier 2 radios actually should be able to talk to each other fine if you put them on the same frequency, but because Tier 1 radios are only able to work on the PMR446 frequencies, you'd have to program your Tier 2 radio to work on the same frequencies to be able to talk to a Tier 1 radio. So while we're here, I thought we may as well have a look at Tier 3 as well. And Tier 3 is similar to Tier 2 in that it has no power limit, no frequency limit, and it can use repeaters but it also has trunking. That is the biggest and main difference between Tier 2 and Tier 3. So I hope this short video has helped you to clear things up. I'm going to be doing another video on the Baofeng DM5R because that is the radio that has prompted this one, actually. Most people have been confused about the difference between Tier 1 and Tier 2 because the terms have been misused on the marketing of the DM5R. So look out for that video if you still are a bit confused about this because you've been reading the marketing for that radio.